Hi, this is David Marsh with eminitradingstrategies.com. This is our weekly video update for May 10th through May 14th, 2010. Well, for the last two weeks, we had one and done days for 11 straight days, counting Monday, May 10th. And we had one losing trade Tuesday, and then we went right back on the one, on, one and done bandwagon for the rest of the week. So for the last three weeks, we've had all one and done days, with the exception of Tuesday, May 11th, where we had... Uh, Four tick loser, followed by reversal with a full recovery trade on that reversal. So I want to thank everybody for coming to the webinar this previous Monday. We do have that webinar recorded. We'll keep it up on the website for probably another week because I like to keep fresh content and fresh charts. So if you want to see a copy, or I'm sorry, if you'd like to watch the webinar, the recorded version of the webinar, be sure to contact myself or Al Mobus, Al at eminitradingstrategies.com, and check the email that came with the link to this video, and you'll see it there as well. So some of these uh, Monday's charts are the same as the webinars. We had a, a lot of one on one at one and dones on Monday. We had an EET one and done. We had a pullback trade one and done. One came slightly before the other one. So depending if your bias in a sense. The EET is a bit more aggressive where the pullback trade isn't. You may have taken the EET or the pullback trade in any event. There are both winners. Here's a copy of the pullback trade there. You've got a couple other charts I want to show you on Monday. Because so, we stayed in pretty much no zone. You can see we were in no zone before the open. And we went to no zone again. So there was, you know, some of my uh, students, they like to wait to come out of no zone and take the NSE because it's a higher probability winner. Well, that never happened. So we had the pullback trade, and we were in no zone, a couple more pullback trades. And finally, we come out of no zone, and here's the first NSC, ends up being a loser. Okay, so that's that's why we take the first available trade. I get that question a lot, well, why not just wait for the higher probability trades? Well, there's no guarantee any trade's going to win. Take the trades that are there. If it's a good trade, take it. If you're recovering and you got to go on, then you would, of course, take higher prob probability trades, etc. In any event, here's a, another no zone where we did have a nice winner. Another one again, no zone trade, nice winner. Got to move along here. We'd get low on time real quick. Tuesday was our first losing uh, trade of within two weeks. We had a normal system entry short, lost four ticks. We did get a reversal signal, and we recovered and made our profit on the next trade. Wednesday, a nice EET short trade, beautiful trade there. I think Thursday, what? Well, yeah, Thursday, another EET short trade. This is the EET symbol indicator on ETS Pro Indicator version 2. And then finally on Friday, nice normal system entry, just a standard NSE, one and done. We end up going into no zone, but it didn't matter. It was one and done. We were done. So really was a good week. Uh, I'll go ahead and wrap this video up. I, and I know it's coming out late, late Saturday night, early Sunday. It's been a pretty crazy weekend, so it's first chance I had to get the video done. But it's been a great trading week. Hope you had a great trading week, and make sure you get with myself or Al if you'd like to watch a copy of the webinar. Thank you.